Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Uh, so welcome to the Flybox vlog. It's Monday night, and true to our word, we are coming out with a new one. Aren't you pleased? Pleased as punch. So Hans here is going to top us off with a story about this annoying construction work going outside our house. Yeah, no, it's really kind of actually, it's really obnoxious. So, yeah, you know, so you're, you pull out on a detour or there's construction going on, right? And you normally you see, you know, you see your signs and there's flaggers and the construction and people and, okay, I see it's supposed to go here. There's a clear sign here. No, 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 not today. Mm -hmm. I'm already hot because it's like freaking 400 degrees outside. Uh, my car is already overheating, so I'm afraid to use the air conditioner, so I'm already perturbed before I even get in the car. So I get in the car, and I get down the street, it says road closed. Okay. So it says use 27th. Now, I am not great with directions, but I can't find 27th Street, okay? It's I'm great street. with directions, and I can't find 27th Street. See? So what hope do I have? So, lo and behold, I do this. I start driving aimlessly around the neighborhood, and I have this entourage of cars behind me because they think I know where I'm going. Well, I start leaning around cul-de-sacs, okay? So this lady, and then we get to the point where we can't all quite turn because the cul-de-sacs are like, oh, I never just got the big old truck. So long story short, so then we get down the road and I find 27, stop all the con con right? so, driving along, and there's 27. I'm like, sweet. It says road closed. Okay, well now what? There's no detour sign. I'm not used to all this this morning. Oh, heck yeah, no. I'm on my way to work and I can't find this everything and it's pissing me off, the clock's running down. Exactly, so, so then there's, there's a lady in front of me at this point and so the flagger points her one direction. So I follow her because she's driving off somewhere. And the flagger points at me the opposite direction. Okay. So now I'm driving on like, I don't know, half unfinished asphalt on this dirt. And and uh, I was really mad because I was hot. I couldn't drive. And I'm starting to think maybe we should call the city and complain. But that wouldn't be very nice. True. But They're doing their yeah. job. What are you going to do? But aren't they supposed to give us like notice before they start doing Oh no, there's no notice. Street, so. I'll just start ripping up Waverly Street and hoping everybody can figure it out. Mm. So tonight, coming home from work, I just didn't listen to the signs and I, I went through a light, kind of went over a curb and just drove down the unfinished road. It was bumpy and there was tools laying out but I didn't care at this point. That's all you can but do. But anyway, it's quite ridiculous. Next oh, topic. Next topic. We have cars tonight. Hey, hey, aren't we professional? I'm going to pull a Craig Ferguson on this one. Woo! Oh, oh. Missed it. Craig. Oh. Okay. Everybody knows about this. White trash on the news. My, oh my goodness. goodness. You turn on the news, local news, and they can't find anybody who is not part partially insane to interview on the news. <laughs> it's, it's so true. It's ridiculous. Every time there's something like, and we are here, we have an eyewitness, you see this snarly tooth guy, guy and a little, and little white thing. I want to worry ah. about thing in the narrow, and I, I, I was big and there's boom, boom, boom. Arr. I done there, I saw the guy, he, he was walking out the street when I went to the liquor store, and there was a big can of apples, and I saw that guy can't be there, and then the, and that's and then I got my kids, it makes my kids so, is on the street, and my kids. It makes me feel so unsafe in my own neighborhood. I just can't keep on going like that. I can't believe my something kids. like that would happen around here. And then the news lady, they act all concerned like, oh, deep and intriguing oh, information. Absolutely. So yes. they're like, yes. back to you, Rick. Thank you, Donna. That was, that excellent. was, oh. Yeah, it's that always the good. same people, though. And then, of course, it's always from your hometown. It's like Albany, like, Oregon, honestly, plastered across the world, and some snarly tooth meth addict. Yeah, but really, that's an accurate representation of Albany. Well, yeah, yeah. but they could dress up a little bit. You'd think. Ah. Oh. So, next, next topic. Woo next ball. Topic. Next ball. Topic. Roll. We are rolling with. Woo! Ah. One of these days we'll make it. That, that one right in the, the cat box. That's quite disgusting. Okay, now it's time for uh, the fly, Flybox Vlog 2 movie bashing scenario. Oh gosh, Transformers 2. Transformers. What can you say? Horrible Formers 2. Uh, Transformers 1 was based at, at was pointed at the 30-something crowd who grew up watching it as a kid. And was awesome. It, it was, was awesome. It was a very, very good movie. Transformers 2, however, was a, aimed at the 8 to 12-year-olds who think that hump humor is funny. Yes. Boom, boom, flash, flash. Slow motion running, and that's the entire movie. I'm a Don't gangster robot. Money. Gee, I'm gonna be all transforming in the hills. Did what? you see any accurate representations of women in that movie? No. no, they're all hot sex objects. Women's rights are not shown in this movie. That's now, why they re-rated it too. Now, granted, if they had Megan Fox running in slow motion the entire movie, I'd have paid twice as much to go see yeah. it. Yeah. Megan Fox was the only redeeming quality about Transformers. The one and too. only redeeming. So if you're quality. gonna go see it, you need to see it. Or you need to see this. 
go look up Megan Fox and save yourself the ten bucks that it costs for a movie. Somehow, the Marianas Trench ends up in the Atlantic Ocean. Who knows? Which, I thought the Marianas Trench wasn't in the Atlantic Ocean. Dun, dun. Geography, pfft, who cares? But then There's again, a bunch of explosions oh, and fight then, scenes. And then, of course, the Jordanians are coming into Egypt, and they just happen to miss out this little country called, oh, Israel. Oh, what is that place? Who needs that place? There's another place where Indiana Jones would discover the Lost Temple. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Next topic. Now there's a good movie. Next topic. Ah. Yeah! Turbo's Tip of the Week! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Turbo's Tip of the Week, brought to you by Aflac. Aflac. So anyway... I was sitting home the other day, and you know, I, I was quite hungry, and I'm like, you know what? You're always hungry, it's true. Pizza Hut is only a phone call away, right? And they have wings. Genius! I love wings. We did wings last week. Long. True. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue on this whole topic of the wings. So, I, you know, I ordered these mild buffalo wings, so they're still pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I get to my door, I sit down, enjoy, I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, I'm missing something. Go to the fridge, pull it open, and there's no ranch dressing. Ouch. No ranch dressing. So I try to put these fiery beasts inside of my mouth and have the try not to let the flames come protruding out everywhere and burn down the entire house. I'm not enjoying these chicken wings. Instead of having a nice cooling sensation along with the fiery hotness, that is ranch dressing, but that was completely gone and I did not enjoy these said chicken wings. So Turbo's tip of the week is always have ranch dressing on hand. Wow. Now that is one tip of the week. In Dead. What can I say? I am turbo. Do you want your sweat rag? I probably should need it. It's about 200 degrees in this garage, and I'm wearing a leather jacket. Why? Because the viewers like it. Well, so I think to say. So our last topic for the week is... It is, but first, the nominal flooring of the car at the camera. That's her, Craig Ferguson. Ah. Oh! It's the fanciest, most ridiculous Twitter of the day marathon. Oh, that's right, Hans. I don't even know what it means. The Kale's Twittering it trends, the top trends, or however you say it. Because we all know what Twitter is now from the video vlog one, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? At any rate, today's top Twitter trend is that today is Soldier Boy's birthday. Soldier, soldier Boy, how do you know? Something, 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 about uh, soldier just this 19 year old kid he's 19 a, yeah he just turned 19 a day which will be tomorrow if you're watching this today so <laughs> is he really a soldier boy no well, why does he sing about soldier he's boy he's only 19 yeah he's only 19 when did he start he's like 10 uh, no he has a one hand he probably started when he was like 18 because he can sit down and talk into a little can and throw a whole bunch of effects behind it and people are like oh that's so cool yeah we can dance to that however Twitter is still our friend. Twitter is still our so friend. So follow us, twitter.com slash theflybox, or look us up, and our username is at theflybox. I feel, like I'm a, I feel like I'm a weatherman because I'm watching myself on a screen and everything's the opposite of what it should be. Today's a high applause. It was 105 degrees today. Unbelievably wow. ridiculous, and I was out pushing carts in it. Oof. It's a freaking hot. Well, I think that's all the time we have today. I think that is all the time we have Oh, today. all right. Adios. So, follow us on Twitter and leave your comments and your questions below. See Next you guys week. later. Next yes. week, Next we will week. have a surprise. Oh, boy. I mean, we're talking, you think this new, this is our new studio, by the way. Yes, it's yeah. very nice. I mean, See, we we've got a uh, light right right here. Look at Let's get this other light. we got Whoa. lights over here. I did this last time and I almost dropped it, but this yeah. time I'm not well, going to. We got a blanket behind us. Yeah, we got a backdrop now. It's a pretty sweet looking and studio. And the fly box. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but, uh, I, f I forgot yeah. where I was going with this. But hey! Oh yeah, the surprise. It's going to make this surprise with the new studio look even cooler. You just wait. Our sponsors are having a cow, so. Okay. Yeah, our sponsors. Well, well, thank you very much for watching, I and we'll see you next bed. week. Have a good night. I'm not sure we'll wait. Walter Cronkite. May you miss always. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Man.